a frosty morning, boys, and we are going for a rip. Tire pressure check here. Solid. Solid. Yeah, we're good. Right on. We're good. Man, the old Ram's a bit of a mess right now. Look at boys. We got side by side spare parts everywhere. And uh you boys wouldn't believe what happened last night. Brother calls me up and says, I'm selling. We're trading in. I think he's selling it because he won't get for trade-in what it's worth. You might as well give it a try selling it. Um, his Polaris, the high lifter's going up, boys. I'm just trying to take a good peek at the tires, tire situation under load and moving, you know. You know, it's good. Um, yeah, he's gonna sell the high lifter, boys. That might be the last time we ever hear a run, boys. Hey. <laughs> and uh, he's got his eye on a side-by-side -side unit. I can't blame him. I can't say as I can blame him. But, uh, yeah, we may see him build out a side-by-side -side unit, which would be kind of fun, for sure. Join me on some rips with the XRC. Oop. There we go. Coffee, fuel, loaded up, good to go. I think he's gonna bring out his, uh, his Yamaha today and show off some of these reflash. Options. Who's that guy? What's that sound I hear? I haven't gotten to see it, so she uh, should be a real ripper. Real ripper. Awesome turbo dynamics uh, reflash. Get a little package, exhaust system, blow off all that shit so we can go all the way up to like 300 horsepower. I think he's got to switch up the fuel. We're getting up there, but that's pretty killer, man. Up to 280 on pump gas or something, maybe? I'm thinking. He's pumping the power now. Pumping. On the pump gas all the way till what? 280? 290. 290. And then the 300 tune, you gotta. That's it. She's that time of the year. She's been an awful transition period here, boys. There's no point taking the bikes out because everything's kind of frozen up and we just don't really have enough snow. So there's really not even enough snow to be running sleds. Well, I, I guess suppose it's supposed to dump today. They're saying 20 centimeters, which would uh, be nice to see. She's dropping fresh powder. Holy shit, boys. It's already building up on the unit. That will be nice to see. That may be possibly get the bikes out for a rim. Fun if there's no powder, no depth, everything's frozen over. The XRC is a whole different story. That thing is a blast in any terrain, in any weather, in any conditions because the suspension is just so plush. change we're coming up on 20,000 kilometers so maybe we'll have to do a little 
Ram Rebel 20,000 kilometer review, almost a year, so basically the same idea, one year, 20,000. We put a lot of K on our boys, but we've been busy. We've been around the roads and we've been ripping. We've been ripping in the Rebel. Yeah, buddy. Nice, 401's not terribly busy Saturday morning. Everybody's hung over. Speaking of which, we should get an awesome boss call. side load because yeah. it wants to go back and forth and then it wears out your bearing your bearing around the balls drop in your depth and you're done we got a ram on the ass and he's got his mirrors out oh he's got the big boy mirrors Let's see if he's gonna do the old bypass here oh i would if i had in my way this would be our intro man something to eat and then we'll be back cheers all right boys some early lunch into us subway nice and convenient here at Caldar but getting close to my brother's place let's get out of here so yeah all right back to the details on the high lifter I forgot yeah 1300 kilometers 2018 He's powder coated all the orange to white. Um, was there two inch lift on there, I think? And uh, 32 inch assassinators, lucky seven floorboards, friggin' jumping um, RBS down jet for the tune. Uh, RJWC single, came up with the single exhaust, slip on. What else? There's more. There's a uh, Chico or Seco racing brackets. Uh, for frame brackets, front and rear. That's all taken care of. Pinion plate, that upgrade was done. Custom Oak Quad, I think, took care of that one. Um, yeah, they did. And uh, there'd be more stuff too. Not sure if he's got, no, he doesn't have tied up paracord, but he does have the uh, the rear winch assist uh, hook from our JWC as well. 
some smaller things. Uh, what's that Polaris uh, aftermarket brand there? Uh, Armor, Pro Armor, Pro Armor, I think, rims. They're powder coated as well. Might be a few other things, but anyways, I know there's a good six, seven grand poured into this damn thing already. Clutching, I think there's some Dalton uh, changes there, spring changes and stuff. Yeah, pretty decent deal though, 1,300 kilometers, and she's been maintained rather well, and she is one violent Polaris, you boys have seen her work, so. to get this beast out yes it is let's get this bad boy fired ATVs there, that's this high lifter, that's what the boys are going to be working on today. We'll probably flip this trailer up because we're supposed to get like 15 or 20 centimeters of snow today, which is pretty kick-ass really. I know the sledders in here, but uh, yeah. So we'll get things uh, situated, get what we need, probably get the camera gear and the heat because I'm sure everything's dying just sitting in the truck. but. We'll be back, boys. Right on. Stay tuned. Fire in the hole. That might be the last time we ever hear a run, boys. local that are dying to get their hands on it too so that'd be pretty cool if somebody local bought it up and then we could uh still ride with it man right on listen to that cummins whistling eh there's today's patient to get the snorkels up and out of the way a little higher a little more protection and then uh that bike still needs the pinion plate upgrade so that's gonna happen obviously that's a must must have if you're a high lifter driver we should probably move this thing Yep. Yep. Cheers. Oops. Yeah, they're pretty sweet. Swapping all over the fucking place. Just really right. Slide right into each other. Yeah, yeah, I forgot about that actually. Somehow. I'll figure that out. There, there, there you go, just like that. So we're a lot more. Mint. Secure. One, two, and three. 
Well, we'll get this one dethawed and get it out of the way soon here, boys, and then we'll get to work on that one, I suppose. Well, actually, the boys will get to work on her. I don't think I'm doing too much wrenching today. I might be out in the field playing. <laughs> right on. So, Phil, how's it feel to have the whole weight of the Polaris world on your shoulders, buddy? <laughs> That's it. Right, he's getting ready. That's it. Well, we got Adam too here. You know, he'll have to come out for some more rides, buddy, for sure. I'm a local. That's it. That's it. Gall Lake Cottager. Here's the old Scrammy. So, Phil, what are we doing in the Scrammy today, bud? Ah, we're doing a front bumper. Polaris. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, it's Holy not uh, just raw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, maybe later she might. Uh, she might see powder coat, coat but uh, that's so going to get out there and protect those lights and the fenders, eh? She wants to see what uh, it's going to look like raw first. Actually, you know that that looks kick ass. Yeah, it bolts to the factory one that's already there. So that is badass. That looks really cool, man. That's mint. Definitely see what this looks like anyway. Oh, buddy, you can already tell that's going to look sharp, eh? Holy shit. It's that's functional. Very functional, man. Getting right out there, yeah. protecting all these fenders yeah. and all the plastic. So that's huge. That's awesome, man. Yeah. That looks killer. Did you I pick like that, that up at Blacks? Yeah. Yeah, right on. I like that it keeps this one. Yes, too, absolutely. Right. Ties in. Yeah. Actually, kind of reminds me a little bit of what Birch did on Oster Cruiser's uh, rear rack. How he tied it into uh, uh, yeah. the stock factory That's back bumper. Killer. Actually, it turned out really nice. We'll shit out the Birch there, bud. Yeah. I wish he'd actually start making them though. Yeah. <laughs> I actually wouldn't mind one, man. Yeah. First pipe. To come to Canada. So. Robin built this one by hand for this machine. So this yep. is the first Polaris yeah. S. Yep. Look at that! Yeah. Ooh, holy yeah. shit! So, buddy, that looks sharp. That's the cross. That's the, the cross pull right there, boys. Blacked out tips. Uh, Ooh, that looks nice. Gnarly loud. So, oh, buddy, killer. Oh yeah, right, right, right. Because this one's a center, right out the center, yeah, right. So, center, yeah. sticking them close together like that. Yeah. That's going to be mint. Roll that up just a bit for you. Yeah. Yeah, that's old oh, man. That's gonna look killer. Yeah, that's gonna look mint. They got a, they got a single too, but the duels definitely filled the hole. So yeah, that's mint, man. It's easy to put on. Trevor, eh? Trevor, yeah, yeah. Trevor, Trevor right? dirty light. Yeah, yeah right on. Yeah, he's uh, he's the man to go to for all the RJWC products in Canada here, man. That's without a doubt. Right on. So, it is, yeah, it is. They, they use the highest, highest, uh, highest uh, grade uh, components, man, when they're making the big their shit. Last what a year? Yeah. And it broke and cracked. Yeah. And it's beyond repairable. Yeah. So you live and you learn, right? Yeah, she's yeah. a sharp looking yeah. unit, boys. I like the sound of the big gun. Very really slick. Yeah. We got the dyno check figured out. We finally got her all. I got the tune on it last night. Yeah. So, so this thing's gonna be an animal now. Yeah. A lot healthier coming in. Oh, well, yeah, on the low end, I'm guessing. Oh, yeah. Okay? Because, I mean, it picked up it's smooth all the way through the, yeah. the power curve, but... Yeah. No you, more uh, uh, speed limiter. Okay. It was speed limited to 130. Players had it shut down. They did, eh? Yeah, yeah, I was curious about that. Coming in, I was doing 138. <laughs> so, so. Well, there, you guys are going to get a video at some point. We'll get the top speed on this unit, and I also want to get the top speed on the XRC. I think the fastest I've had it going was 143, but I have a feeling that if I got enough room, I can creep that RXC up to 
to 150 maybe. Yeah, and that's with the reduction on that one, right? So yeah, they yeah. definitely increased uh, where they allowed it to go. I think, what was it on the XMR? Was it 120, I think, or something like that? Yeah, yeah. But then we went past it with reflash and shit, so yeah. it was all good. Right on. That's cool. Sailing over a stop. Oh, buddy. Is it ever? Is it ever? And we were doing down in Belleville on those uh, those rail beds and shit, doing 130, 138. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> on a rail bed, that's still really quick. Yeah, yeah. The boys have already cut into her. They're hating on these clamps because they're facing oh, shitty. Yeah, you kind of hate when they do that. Like, that is exactly, yeah, exactly. Why would that be facing that way instead of the opposite where we get access yes, on this side? But we have the lights in here, same as when I did it, so it made it a bit of a pain in the ass. To yeah. Get thing in there. there we go, boys. Easy peasy. Some easy work today, man. Nothing major. You know, you're never going to use them again, anyways. Oh, stock no. stock just, oh, yeah. Keith had three, yeah. three stock ones sitting there, or four, or something like that. I was like, oh, I just grabbed another type off. Why I got two sitting in my shed at home. Some right? sheet metal screws? Well, I got two of them, right? Might as well experience. I considered, man. I've got enough spare parts in my shed almost that we could build a wicked go kart. A arms, swing arms. <laughs> <laughs> I have a bunch of your stuff here. Exhaust system, clutches, like. All we got to do is just go find a, an old 800 can M engine and stuff it in a go kart yeah. and start welding. <laughs> do you ever watch on YouTube? Uh, it's called Grind Hard Plumbing. That sounds familiar. Check it out. Will, they will. got some wicked go kart builds out of power oh, wheels yeah. vehicles. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's true. It is. I know. Z felt. That's a two. They should have gave two and a half. Two. Remember when we were talking? Yeah, it yeah. went two and a half to two, and boil they still it. need to be Stretch boiled. It over. Yeah, we're gonna boil it too. I got the heat gun, so but we're gonna try that first instead. Boil water. What are they saying here? here? What's the deal? It looks like they still. Yeah, yeah. I'm right here. Okay. Talk to us, sir. Say that again. Well, it's got. Uh, it's here. It's saying uh, <laughs> they gave you a two inch by two inch fern coat, right? Right. It says two inch rubber boot installed with factory hose clamps. On bottom. On bottom. See. This fits in. We're on mine. I went two and a half to three. And yeah, went over. Well, two and a half. I still had to dip them in yes. boiling water to yes. put them over. Yes. You can try a heat gun, but it don't work. Boiling water. Yeah, yeah. And so that's some two and three quarter, isn't it? It it's is weird literally. Size. Where's that measuring tape? All th are all three different? No, these two are the same, and that one's different. No, they're all the same. Well, they are, right? Eh? They're mm -hmm. like basically three inches from outside to outside. Or yeah. two and seven, six, or yeah. They are oblong to shit. <laughs> it's just the way they are. Yeah, I They get bent yeah. around and heated up or Shave whatever. Them, sure. But yeah. when you yeah, put yeah, them yeah. on, right? So that's why I went two and a half, and I still had to boil the They should have sent two and, a half, two and a half to two. And then the stretch. Or a reducer on one of these after. But yeah. that's here nor there. It would be a good seal. But sometimes you don't want that much pressure. Like, this stuff's pretty good. But I don't know. That's a lot of pressure on it. Because yeah. I don't even tighten my clamps crazy. It'll work. I just gotta get some boiling water, they, boys. Uh, they look like they're no, they're the same. They're all the same, boys. All right, we'll go throw a pot of water. No, yeah, it fits in all three of them. They're just moved. Yeah, it fits in all three. Of them. So, See, I thought yeah. I expected they were gonna give us the freaking. Yeah, well, they're useless on the inside, we're so that ain't gonna happen. Yeah. No. <laughs> all right, we'll be back, boys. We'll get some boiling water going here. Um, no, she's already gonna grab some beer. I think I'm good. Right on. They're all warmed up, just trying to get her down there. Or she can't go reboil this or whatever. Phil, just get uh, some of that uh, in the big black can. Just that little bit of uh, lubrication. Lube. Yeah, I think we're going to need her because it's going to be a little tight. Just put it on your fingertip and just give a little bit there so it dries. Oh, out. yeah. Just, just spit on her. Spit on her, bud. Just the tip there. I wonder. Uh, yeah, okay. Just, you're going to put it back in the pot, right? Like. You <laughs> 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 eat that pot, eh? There. there we go. We're on. Yeah. Yep. Just like that. Just get them far down. Yeah, that softens them up good. It's going to be hard on the old clamps to get them in there, but we'll angle them right. You might want to get this clamp on there first, Phil. Yeah. And get that one done and kind of put it to where you can put a ratchet. I put mine to the back so you can put the ratchet. Yeah, in. exactly. Yep. Well, look at though. It should, it should fit. They are pretty tight, so I think yeah. they can use the factory ones that came with it. Oh, good idea. Hey, that's usually the ones that we stepped off. <laughs> Up there. Oh, yeah, 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 use yeah, the yeah. factory ones. Go heads. Go heads. <laughs> good thing you're here, Troy. 
didn't read that part. Anyway. Okay, just wait till after we're done this and how quick and easy this is, and you can see how you can build whatever you want here. Let's see if you're gonna spend that money. Are you fucking boss <laughs> money there? Even the bad ones come with uh, <laughs> turn codes too. <laughs> He wouldn't have it any other way. Yeah, I don't. No, he's not happy if he's sitting over there on the bench looking. Same as me, I'm not big. The player stuff, I generally let him go pretty good, so. He's looking for more of the lower stealthy, uh, yeah. here and only one there it's gonna fucking piss me off so i'm wondering if i should do this one too and then i'll have they're all be even okay yeah, i don't know so i gotta yeah. sand that right so you'll be taking but more I out more on yours oh yeah it's... right so it's that structure mine cracked on the one spot it's got yeah, more tiny cracks from cranking it yeah and if you keep that too, bend to keep the bend might... it gives it more strength well, and rigidity for sure and yeah like your, yours might crack a little bit it's touching the two snorkels just a little bit that might rub you'll sand it out though grind it out to smooth this out you'll get more clearance just touch it yeah, like, I know. You know what I mean? They'll vibrate kind of and just set. Yeah, I know. Like, More are, rigidity. Okay, so. Yeah, they're great. Yeah. They're going to work awesome. And then you just got to do the old. Pull it out and around your snorkel. Back. Yeah, but you know what I would have done? I would have disconnected and I would have run my vent lines in between the snorkels and connected on the other side here instead of coming out and around okay. it, right? Yeah, yeah. Which just yeah. give it a little more cleaner with your. your Right on, right on. We're gonna do a, an exhaust before and after on this bad boy. This will be mint, man. Yeah. Yeah, this system looks crazy, Phil. That that cross flow system for this. Is it ever gonna look sweet? It's a change not having any can ams to work on, boys. Yeah, see how fast stuff gets done. <laughs> You, just, you ask him how fast I cut his friggin' uh, some fine sanding. That's it, boys. It's pretty awesome. much wrapped up. Couple vent lines, bang. Did Warrior you riser there? kit right there. Took the sawzall to the Kick ass. Ten minutes. Looks mint, man. Yeah. Oh yeah. Barely. Joe started putting paint on, or tape on the lines. What's that? Doing uh, the lines at? Uh, Wait, let me see. On your king quad there. Oh, that was hell. Sawzall. That's what I said. It was absolute hell. Mint. She's ready for a swamp, bud. For the airbox. Air, so this is the airbox one right here? Yep. Okay. Yep. Well, what do you got on this? Sweet. Trail tamer. You know what? A trail I tamer. I might have went with them at that like, GSE performance. Out. Cool. Okay. Yeah, yeah that did sound loud. good, man. That sounded great, actually. Cool. Like I said, I can fucking get this place I think that made the made them wider, it looks like. Uh -huh. Well, those are in. Oh, Jesus, bud. Look at that. Wait too much longer. It's clean. It's the cleanest fluid I've ever seen. I had to rotate it so I can get that dowel pin out. You take the pin out and it slides back on the slide. Slide it off. No shit. That's how they're on there? Yes. Well, just a dowel pin. So, obviously, you're using a new one of those. Nope. nope, they're reusable. Really? Yeah. Get the fuck out. Spring. <laughs> nope. Well, yeah, they're reusable. Because they're basically, once it gets out, it swallows up around. Sure, sure. Right, so you just grab the driver again. Hey, he's a good carpenter, he's your squad. 
Here you just slide, wiggle, yeah. Ah, oh, easy peasy. Done. Now we just got pulled bolts. Right on. That if you're already on a monster incline, you're you're screwed. You're screwed. You should look like Phil. Looking good. Minty. Of course, you should. She's brand yeah. spanking new, boys. No, Look at uh, that. no chips. Just as clean as the oil was. Yeah. Wicked. That's all the material. <laughs> yep. And it gets, it goes inside the diff housing too, but that's all it's, that's why they break covers. And yeah. this, the needle bearing on the new one, right? Right there, it stops more of this, yeah. this load, the side load, because yeah. it wants to go back and forth, and then it wears out your bearing, your bearing around, lay balls, drop in your diff, and you're done. His blew this. Yeah, I knew that. Which in turn then it just tore itself. Oh off. yeah, goodbye. See Rest of history. Right? Yep. Yeah. Don't mind the mess in Lacey's truck. It's a work truck. <laughs> There's key. <laughs> There's the key right. Yeah. Man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's seated nicely too. That's it, man. That's wicked. Okay. Yeah, Easy peasy, man. Yeah, I think so. Um, come back right there. Yeah, looks like it lines up yeah, beautifully. Pin is on the fender above your head. You got it, right? Go. Is it out? Uh, it's not sitting flush yet. Uh, tap, tap, tap. Oh, oh, oh. Very beautiful. Golden. Okay, so I'll let him do a little hand tightening. I'll leave the tire off for now, but yeah, pretty much it. Yeah, man, that's... Just because there's four bolts, you kind of want to go around it a few times, just because it sucks that extra wheel. Simple procedure. Who's that guy? What's that sound I hear? Just a little turb ski? Oh, oh that was you. Yeah, it is. I thought it was me. Oh. Holy shit, eh? She's dropping fresh powder. Holy shit, boys. It's already building up on the unit. That thing was so frozen up, I had to put it inside for about 20 minutes just to get the seat belts to retract. Yeah. Wild, man. Wild. She turned it into a beautiful snowy afternoon now, bud. Yeah, man. You're looking at our unit, I'm looking at your unit there, eh? She's got the turbo dynamics, boys. Okay. She's pumping the power now. On the pump gas all the way till what? 280? 290? And then the 300 too. That's it. Pretty good. Yeah, it sounded pretty neat. I just got the spark plug point. Did you? Did you get her set? Oh, yeah, because factory is a point three, and if you put the boost to it, you got to go to a point two. Yeah, I was wondering what you I thought you were you're late, man. I figured you were playing some parts. <laughs> Playing some Mario. <laughs> Gapping plugs and playing some Mario. Yeah. You won't shop. Uh, yeah, Two things. Holy Jesus. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Phil's back. <laughs> my God, look at yourself. <laughs> Holy Jesus. We can turn the lights off now. I can see you on hydro. <laughs> 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 Just have to, just just have diff fluid and you're done, eh? Oh, yeah. uh, we set lights on. Trail. I like it. Yeah, it looks pretty good, man. Looks nice. Comfy, eh? Good Lots of room for an extra layer too, eh? I, I would get it. Uh, like, just add diff fluid, Phil. That's it. Yes, sir. Done deal. 
Yeah, they're tight tolerances. Yeah. Even around that O-ring, like it's tight, tight tolerances, yeah, yeah. eh? Which is good. I can see where you see it's never leak. Yeah, for sure. Flyer's factory bolt on. Looks Fox. looks great. Looks great. So you just gotta, I, I, let me go down to the petrol and get a can of paint. Can of pink, hey eh? oh, listen to you. You're already harping on the players. You barely left the squad. Yeah, yeah, it is super, super, super. <laughs> One day you rack up like thirty, forty thousand dollars. All right. I dig that bumper, the look of it, man. Yeah. I dig that. Oh, yeah. It's aluminum and light as shit. Yeah. What's yeah. not to like about that? Like, I go down Doug's shop and there'll be a rad new little beat. Yeah, fuck yeah, out of that. Yeah. By the way, about four pounds. When will it be ready? Yes. As soon as I get some time. Yeah. 2024. Yeah. I would have built my little oh, backrack one. Remember that one? Yeah. The, the bike? Oh, it only yeah. took me like yeah. 20 minutes. Yeah. Doug there. That's what we're doing. Hey, remember the little one on the Grizzly I put there? Yeah. Cool, man. You could do red hair. I could put a big bench in the front of it. Like, you know, this, track anyway. this one's got some weight to it. Let's set a duel. Yeah, it does have weight, doesn't it? Yes, it does. It's solid. It's like solid. Looks nice, though. Do you want to see what the stock one weighs and the afterburner one weighs? Absolutely. Why not? Two springs holding the knot. There you go. That's it. Just like that. Oh, it's a star. It's a good thing. Really? Is it worth weighing them? We're not that far off. Which one's heavier? Last weekend, I think that again. Not that far off. Scale? Yeah, I think so. Okay, it's not even worth putting scales on it and just slap them in. <laughs> I think my fish scales are up there, or maybe they're in the boat still. Hmm. Hard to tell, isn't it? Yeah, let's throw it on. Yeah. See good. Did we do it? Did you get a before? Did you get a before sound? You didn't. No. Well, Oh, we, we, have, we have footage. Let me see that. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. Actually, it tracked well in four, too. What size are bighorns? Uh, 27, I think. They're 27-inch tires, eh? Yeah, that's pretty wild. Shoot the screen! Yeah, the dog Maybe a little fucking tight. Yeah. Oh yeah. How wide is it? 55. So it's only five inches wider than this beast. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, we did. Boo -de boo -de boo -de boo -de boo boo. Solid. Yeah, she is. Man, she's so much easier throwing a slip on on a popo than it is can am. Yep. Well, this one especially. Cool. Yeah, this like, one's open, open, accessible. So that's a catalytic converter. Because the ones that went to California yeah. have uh, oh, yeah. EGR oh, yeah. and all that crap. Yeah. Yeah. Let's open up so, this door briefly. Yes, let's do that. Give her the shot. Do I open up the door? Open up the door. Why do we open the door? Because so we, we want to get the burn off of this new pipe. It's going to burn. It's going to smoke. It needs to run outside. Run it outside. I got the tune on last night. Open up. That's going to get noxious.
Yeah, it does. Got a real nice. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, but you should pull yours out if you plan on riding it. Sounds good. Real good. Because I don't think Troy does. Yeah, give her, give her. Jesus, eh? That sounds great. Yeah, neighbors love it. Yes, they do. Job well done. Neighbor approval. That's great. Yes, I'll get my phone off there. That's great. That's great. Does it ever sound nice, bud? Yeah. 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 She's throaty. She's got lots of throat to her, though, bud. That's awesome. Penny plate mod done. She's looking good, man. Fire mud and lights there. Kick ass. Yeah, yeah. Tast her out. Make sure she's working. <laughs> That's hilarious, man. play a little bit. The snow out. Wild. Like that. Like that. Sounds awesome, Phil. 
right here. Yeah, it's a lot crustier, oh, man. Yeah, I can feel it yanking on that tire. Yeah. Alright, man. That was a lot of fun. Alright, brother. Cheers, man. That was a lot of fun. Listen to that, boys. That's Phil. Holy crap, he's got thousands of yards on us, and you can still hear him loud and clear. Wicked. That's hilarious. Oh, all the folks in Flint will be so thankful. <laughs> 